Bentley's on the run while I'm riding in a demon. Get behind me, I'm a label. Ooh, yeah, whoa. It's me and K Town. My brother fuck my main bitch. This nigga play foul. Call me Jazz Prince. These niggas play. I bring that Drake out. I air this bitch out. Blah. And bind out. And bind out. Yeah. And then slide right slide back. Right I don't back. do it for the clout. Nah. Nigga, I do it for respect. For yeah. Respect. And niggas better watch they mouth. Cause I air this bitch out. Blah. And bind out. All right, man. So we got you in here, man. Finally, man. We've been, we've been uh, trying this for a few weeks, man. But, uh, hey. You hear it now? Go ahead and tell the people who you are, man. You know what I'm saying? We. Uh, check this out. I'm Birdman. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I'm an artist. I'm not a rapper. Trust me. There's a difference. Uh, who are some people that have inspired you to start making music? Uh, this dude named Get Rich Ken. He's from Kansas City, too, man. Little young nigga, man. Uh, he straight up, uh, he taught me how to get into this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he inspired me to get into this shit and be creative with it. As far as like getting deep about dialogue and storylines and shit like that, Ron Ron's pattern, you know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga was a genius about how he word, the way he word his words, you know what I'm saying? So, Ron Ron, um, it's gonna be a lot of people watching this interview, man. So, all the people that don't know who Ron Ron is, man, he's a Kansas City native, um, a Kansas City pioneer within the music scene out here. Uh, he has a song out here that's pretty popular, uh, that most people know him for. Uh, it's called Hey Honey, you know what I'm saying? Um, which actually kind of falls hand in hand with our next question. Uh, because I feel like Ron Ron is somebody who should have popped off into the mainstream scene too. Well, he could have if he wanted to, let's say. Uh, but I was able to do my research on him, and I see that on your YouTube channel, you've accumulated 19 million YouTube views on your channel, man. Um, was any of that stuff on there ever monetized? Did you ever receive a dollar from it? I never received a dollar from that shit, man. But none of that shit monetized, man. I was just dropping shit back to back, back to back, back to back, just for like the niggas and for my for bitches and just, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking okay. up. Nothing was monetized. So basically, YouTube didn't pay me a dollar. They even started putting ads on front of my shit when I was supposed to be getting paid for that. But I didn't have that knowledge. But so with knowing what you know now, what advice would you give to up and coming artists trying to make it out? If you're up and coming an artist, man, I promise you, man, I, I would, I would definitely will, will motivate you to fucking go get your shit monetized, go get your shit copyrighted, man. Literally, you know, not want to be out here just making music, just to be making music, man. Like, I just do that because that's your passion, but still get paid for your shit, cause these people are getting paid off of you, and you don't even know it. What would the bird now say to the bird ten years ago? Uh, I would definitely. Let her know I'm definitely disappointed. And then while well, I did a whole bunch of dumb shit, like arrogant shit, man, that for real, for I fucked up a lot of opportunities for myself, man. Like just because I was just being this stupid. And I wasn't, I didn't have as much knowledge as I do now. Wish I did, but I didn't, man. So I would say to that nigga, boy, you was stupid as a motherfucker. Right. And I like that you're able to take accountability and stuff for that. Yes, we'll lead up to me asking. So there's no beef, man. It's a new you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. want to start off fresh, you know? Kind of talk about that it's, for us. It's, it's like, don't get me wrong, listen, like, beef sale. Don't get me wrong, beef sale. Everybody want to hear the gang gang shit. Everybody want to hear the who I don't like. like the like, honestly, like right now, I'm not into it. Nobody. Like, if a nigga telling you he into it, me, he's lying, probably looking for some attention or some ears. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, bro, like, I'm not a problem with nobody. I don't get it twisted. Stay in yours, do not cross over. Nigga, cause I'm still the same nigga, but I would never go there, just know that. Respect you. Respect you speaking on that. A lot of people probably want to know that. Where does Bird go from here and stuff? So, like, where can the people find you? You got any new music? Are you doing features for the artists and stuff that's on here that's tapping in and wanting to work with you? Um, any shows, you know, for the promoters that may want to book you? And um, any music videos you got coming? You know what I'm saying? Let us know. Show is okay, see coming up. Uh, I definitely, I definitely am doing verses, I'm definitely doing hooks, you know what I'm saying, it's like, I'm on every platform right now, so if you look at me on, you can finally look, finally look me up on Spotify, yeah, I've been asking for years, I'm on Apple Music, you know what I'm saying, so you can, YouTube of course, you know what I'm saying, before the end, at the end of this interview, I'll make sure I leave all links in here, so you can go find me. If you could smash one celebrity body, who would it be and why? Oh, let's say, man, that, uh, who the fuck do I want to fuck? Let me go with Ashanti, you feel me? Because that bitch cold. And I like light-skinned bitches, too. You feel me? And let me pick me an old head bitch, man. For some reason, I just want to fuck Tony Braxton. Or Jada Pickett. I fuck Jada Pickett, too, most definitely. 
Behind that though, like for real, for like that's money that could have been used for a whole, you know what I'm saying, different cause. It's just that, but that's what happens when you don't monetize your shit. That's what happens when you don't get these people asked that they, they gonna use you. Right. They let you upload on their site. That's cool. They getting paid for every person that uploads something. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and I, I, I feel real pissed that I missed out on a lot of fucking money, man. It's like not doing it right. But I'm back, Jack, and everything legit. Just know that. Okay, cool. All right. So, do you feel like that it's important now that you know for artists to be more educated for music? Definitely. Like, don't get me wrong. If you just feel like in your heart you just want to make music just for you, you do that. But if you're passionate about your shit, if you want to be known, if you want these motherfuckers to pay you, definitely take care of the paperwork you need to take care of. They got all the shit you can do online right now, man. Fucking monetize your shit. Fucking copyright yourself. Fucking ass cap. Be on my yourself. Do all this shit, bro, so you will have, you will be legit. And learn about these fucking split sheets, too. You have to learn about the split sheets. Trust me, it took, as long, old as I am, it just took me almost a month to actually understand that shit. But that month is definitely accredited to my motherfucking knowledge. So just know that I'm on top of this shit, man. How do you feel, man, about um, not being nominated for any of the local awards and stuff? Like, does it... Like, does it kind of strike a nerve? Like, do you feel like that it's like a sign of disrespect? Like, you talking about the this my homie award? Shit, do they be, they be having going on? No, I'm I, talking about the local award. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but it's, 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 it's abbreviation of this is my homie. Let me recognize you awards. So like, no, nah, I was like, I ain't none of niggas homies. I don't expect to get fucking nominated by any of these niggas, man. Plus, it's like, I wasn't even back into the art of even back fucking with rapping like that for me to even be feeling like that. I need to be in a nomination or be, I, you know what I'm saying, or, or be, you know what I'm saying, or get a award or some shit like that. When it's like, what the fuck am I gaining out of it? You handing me a plastic motherfucking award, I don't, I don't get it. You know, that'll, that award cost you $3. I done paid $50 for this ticket to come, plus my outfit, so who, who wants to be getting a reward for real, for real? Come on, they should be getting rewarded by the finesse of the work, for the finesse of the century, you know what I'm saying, by my fucking best actor, you know what I'm saying, like, these, come on, man, I, shit ain't genuine, I don't want to be a part of it anyway, niggas can take it how they want to. Alright, man, so shit, make, ma make the math make sense to me, man, make, I can spend $3 for a motherfucking plastic motherfucking trophy, but then I'm gonna make you pay 50 to get this motherfucker, I'm the winner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. Hey, <laughs> I'm you don't think that that stuff is based off numbers. You think that it's just based off of... Man, listen. I've heard that people feel like that it's based off of... Um, they said people vote, too. But this thing is like... Voting and how many people you can bring out, which is going to ultimately who, bring in what? Who's counting the votes? If there's even votes coming in. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, still... Say like if, if it's you, it's you for example, as far as like, well, you got 2 million views on this motherfucker, this dude got 30,000. They gonna go with, if this, if this, this homie with the 30,000, this homie's getting a reward, the award. It's just a whole bunch of, I don't give a fuck to be a part of that, people. Hey man, so who is one deceased rapper that you would bring back, man? You know, I know a lot of people say, you know, stuff like Tupac, I mean. I definitely bring back Drake. I bring back Mac Drake, man. I definitely bring back Plateau too, man. Like straight up, like niggas was hard, man. You feel me? I definitely bring both of them niggas back if I had that power. Yeah, like and I feel like that's when a lot of the um uh the West Coast Kansas City politics stuff really started. Oh yeah, of course, of course. With me asking that last question, so do you feel like Lil Boosie was right when he says that an artist makes it? It's probably uh it's probably best that you should leave your city because 
you know what I'm saying? Shit get tricky. Absolutely, absolutely. You gotta look. Let me tell you why I agree with him on that. Cause like literally, like it's been, it, it could be niggas in the city been rapping forever. They feel like they should have been made. So it's like them be the, them niggas that become your haters. They feel like nigga that you. You know what I'm saying? Don't deserve the life that they supposed to already had. You know what I mean? So it's best to go and tap into a whole nother city hole in the market. As long as you stay here in town, niggas is gonna find a reason to hate on you. I don't give a fuck if you grow green tomatoes, it's gonna be a nigga that wanna grow red ones. You know what I'm saying? Just to say that nigga, my tomatoes is sweet. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is just crabs in a bucket, man. And it's crazy because niggas will see you out. Jeff, shake your hand, leave, and be whispering about you. This shit, this, this city just, man, it's just all fucked up, good. What is Bird's process to making a hit song? Stuff, I mean, do you punch in? I mean, do you write your music? Do you just go honestly, in there and do it off the dome? Honestly, like, like, I never look at a song and be like, this is what I'm writing right now to hit. I just be like, I just go and I just do me, man. It's like, let the people decide. I'm always, my worst critic, that's just me being me. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I take a lot of time, watch it at the same time, just like, man, fuck it. Let me just drop something. So it's just like, I ain't really got no process. Like, I just get in there. What do you think it takes for an artist to truly be successful and make an actual income from the music? Get your, you know get your motherfucking shit together and get your shit right. I don't give a fuck about what nobody say or how they feel about your shit. If that's what you want to do, you chase after that, man. You do what you're supposed to do with your shit. Stay on your shit, man. Get your shit montaged. Fuck just doing it for your homies. Get your shit right, man. Right, man. There it is, man. Well, Bird, man, thanks, man, for sitting down with us. And, and, and you know, being the first artist, man, on Town Topic, man. I want people to understand what we're trying to do with this is we're trying to unify the city. We're trying to bring this shit together and make it all make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to open old wounds. We ain't trying to make a platform and, and, and uh, really get behind one artist. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, no, I appreciate the love, man. Just know to listen. This is only part one. We'll be a part two, and then we'll definitely be more detailed. I'll take a light on you niggas.